My first memories of becoming an artist uh, start out with my inspiration from my grandmother. She is a well-known watercolor artist on the East Coast. And I used to, uh, my parents used to let us paint on the plywood floors while they were under construction. And I would always try and recreate all the paints and all the colors that I would see sprawled out in my grandmother's studio. Art has always just been an incredible passion of mine that I've studied throughout my entire life and in university as well. It's just one of those things where it was, it's such a great passion that I couldn't not go for it. And I believe that it's incredibly important to go for your dream and what resonates and means the most for you, for you or to you, because when you go for that, that you're so passionate about, it really just breeds success in your work. My art has evolved over time. Um, being classically trained, I started out with a lot of oil and acrylic painting and just really learning the basics and honing in on those techniques. Um, my dad used to work on cars and I loved abstract, so I started experimenting with auto body polyurethane, paint thinner, mineral spirits, and kind of inter intermeshed the, uh, my classical studies in addition to my own experiences with my dad to create my own unique technique. All of my ideas and inspiration really are honed in with by natural phenomena, uh, whether it is a topographic map or something that I see an image in space or a slab of granite. I just love the organic movement and the fluidity um, of nature and natural phenomena. It really draws me in and I use that as my inspiration for all of my work. I believe people are drawn to my art because it's so unique and different and um, I love getting comments from my clients as well as people that come to my art and view my art um, in my booth that they believe that it's something that they've never seen before and it really is my own technique and um, I've developed it over time and also there's a lot of light, a lot of pigmentation and the color really draws the viewer into my work as well. The celebration of fine art is absolutely the most incredible show that I've ever been to um, and I'm blessed to be a part of. It's absolutely awe-inspiring to see the amount of effort and the unique techniques and just the fabulous artists from all over the country that are involved in the show. Um, it's absolutely the show that I believe everyone needs to go to. If you get one opportunity to go to a show all year, come to the Celebration of Fine Art.